Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some holographic resin coasters. So let's jump in and get started. To color my resin, I'm going to be using this sky blue resin dye and black alcohol ink from Let's Resin. And I'm also going to be using some of my water lily glitter from my Etsy shop. That is this blue mix here. I added two drops of resin dye and a few dashes of my water lily glitter to about, I would say, six ounces of clear resin. And this cup here, I just added six drops of black alcohol ink to about 10 ounces of, of clear resin. And that's how I got this black. And I did have some leftover, so I poured um, the same technique in a few different molds. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video so you can see how those pieces turned out as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just pouring a little bit of this water lily glitter mix in the center, adding the black around the perimeter of the mold, and then I'm going back in with the water lily glitter and filling the mold up the rest of the way. This technique is so easy and they turned out really, really awesome. I couldn't believe it when I demolded these, how pretty they turned out, and it's super easy to do this. I am using the Liquid Diamonds resin today. I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. Works great for projects like this because it has hardly any bubbles, which is nice. And to, to fill these molds up, I would say that these little coasters take about three ounces each. So you would need 12 ounces total for this complete mold. And I'll link this mold down below. You can get it from Molds and Shapes. I'm just about done filling these up. I'm going to let them sit for 10 minutes. This is 10 minutes later. I'm going to go in with my stir stick and I'm just going to blend everything together. And I'm only working on the surface of the resin here. I'm not pushing down to the bottom of the mold at all. If you push down to the bottom of the mold, you can damage your mold and damage that holographic effect. And then that's going to show up on every piece that you make after this one. So only work on the surface of the resin. I'm going to finish blending these together and then I'm going to give them a few sprays of 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop bubbles. And that's what I'm doing here. I just went in and did a few sprays on each of the molds. I know it looks like I'm going in with a lot, but my bottle was almost empty. So I was having to press the trigger button quite a few times to get anything to come out. I let them cure overnight and here's how they turned out. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love, love, love how this turned out super pretty you can see that holographic effect and i like to think of this holographic effect as a micro texture so the texture is embedded inside the mold and then when you pour resin in the mold the resin takes on the holographic micro texture and turns your items holographic now with that being said you cannot pour over the holographic effect at all you cannot top coat these or add anything on top or it will take away that micro texture and the holographic effect will disappear so just keep that in mind um, with any holographic molds you cannot top coat over the products that you make and to turn these into coasters i just attach a cork backing and they're good to go you can get it off amazon i'll link it down below and like I said earlier in the video, I had some leftover resin, so I did the same technique in a few different styles of molds. Um, so I'm going to demold those here in just a second. And in this video, I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time. But if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mixed my resin, I'll link one of my quick one minute liquid diamonds mixing tutorials down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out if you want to see how I mix my liquid diamonds. So this mold here is the diamond coaster mold from Let's Resin. Um, I'll link these down below as well. It turned out gorgeous as well. Same technique, poured that blue water lily glitter mix in the center and added the black alcohol ink to the perimeter of the mold. And same thing on this mold as well. And this mold is actually one of my favorites. You can get this mold from my friend, um, Carrie. She has a website where she sells silicone molds. I'll link her shop down below along with my coupon code. She sells this mold and she also sells that big floral trinket dish mold that I use on my channel. If you haven't seen those videos, definitely go check them out. Um, so definitely check out her shop for some molds. 
Um, I'll be sure to link all the materials I use down below in the description box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and go check out my Etsy shop for some glitters. I have a lot of beautiful colors available. I hope you guys are all doing wonderful. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys.